there welcome to the new click sense video tutorial and in this video tutorial we will going to look at the weekday and week year function within click sense so weekday and week year function have their special purpose so weekday functions basically have in identifying that which week day it is based on the date specified and what it returns is basically a dual output so what it has is the text value and numeric value associated to it. So let's see first of all the data and then we will go ahead and use it. So date within the data you have this simple data set where you have serial number, sales group, team, date, time and amount. And we will apply the week year and uh, week day on this date function on this date column. So let's load this close this and click on analysis come over here in a table at the dimension which is date and now add a measure which is week day and within week day we will going to specify the date and as you would expect uh, what it has given is the output and as I mentioned it has given the output in a dual that doesn't mean that it just it is a text value in the back end if you see let's say you want to sort it or do some manipulation it has its value associated to it now uh, an important thing generally all across all across the world you have the week which starts at on monday and the week start function has a special if you if i go into the expression editor over here you have a first week of the day expression so which is nothing but the weeks so week start when it happens like zero indicates monday one indicates tuesday two indicates wednesday and so on and so forth so it goes from zero to six zero indicate monday and six indicate sunday in certain countries you have the year you have the week starting at a different uh, week of the day so let's say for example in your country uh, if the week is starting on friday then what you would do is you will say date comma four right because if you will see or calculate zero on monday one on tuesday two on wednesday three on thursday and finally four on friday so if your week is starting on friday then this is what you were going to specify but if your week is starting on Monday, then you don't have to specify anything. By default, it takes zero and zero means Monday. So if I just give this, click apply, it will, it will do appropriate changes as and when it is seen. But the important point is when you are doing calculation, let's say you are doing a payroll system or something which is related to project or something. In that case, this will be very much helpful. So, so this is mainly about uh, the week day, but uh, if we look at another function which is week year and we specify the date, all right, and uh, press tab, it will give us the 2013. Now, this is straightforward, but uh, problems may come, let's say when you are at the end of the year and a, day, a week is starting on the let's say 28th of december or 30th of december or maybe 31st of december and ending it in the next year then in that case the year will change because it will look at then the next year uh, for the week year perspective and give you the output so be cautious whenever you are using weekday and week year as i mentioned about uh, the inherent uh, output that it can give based on the settings or based on the date that you specify uh, so that whenever you are doing calculation you know you should not feel like it is not coming as per the expectation but you have you should know how it really gives you the output so that's mainly i wanted to talk about in this video and now i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic